Hey everyone, so with the situation in the Middle East, in Israel's war against Hamas and Israel's war against Hezbollah and ultimately the head of the snake, Iran, uh, we have a, a interesting, good commentary I'd like to, to, to show you from Bridget Gabriel, a Lebanese-American activist, and uh, just listen to her sum up how thankful she is to Israel for helping to liberate her Lebanese, her, her country, Lebanon. Thank you, Israel, for doing the world a favor and eliminating the total leadership of Hezbollah, the most lethal terrorist organization in the world today. Israel eliminated those who killed our Marines in Lebanon and committed and organized terrorist attacks on our American interests across the world. Those who America has been looking for for decades and unable to find or take out despite the millions of dollars of bounty on their heads. Thank you, Israel, on behalf of Lebanese in Lebanon and around the world, who would never dare come out publicly and thank you. On their behalf, I thank you. I am receiving thousands of messages on my social media from Lebanese rejoicing in and out of Lebanon at the hope that they can take their country back and build it again to be what it once was, Paris of the Middle East, before Hezbollah destroyed it. Hezbollah is a terrorist domestic organization funded by Iran who is in complete control of Lebanon. Lebanon has not had a president for two years because Hezbollah does not want a Christian president in the country. They have terrorized the Lebanese people of all faith, especially the Christians. And before you start commenting on this video saying how much did APAC pay you to say this, let me make something very clear. APAC has never paid me a dime. They have never even invited me to speak at their conference or any of their meetings. The Israeli government doesn't pay me a dime. I speak out the way I do because of my conviction and my life experience. I remember a time when we lived in peace, Israelis and Lebanese of South Lebanon together. I used to drive my car to work between Lebanon and Israel. I had a home in Israel where I lived in Jerusalem during the week, and I would go back to Lebanon on the weekend to visit my parents in Marjayoun. We had the good fence where many Lebanese went to work in Israel daily. South Lebanon prospered. We used to take our friends visiting from Beirut in their Lebanese cars to Israel and visit Haifa, Tel Aviv, and Jerusalem. Many Lebanese married into Israel and vice versa. We even had a Lebanese consulate in Jerusalem, in Migdalay Megiddo, facing the Knesset, where I spent many evenings in 1984 and 1985. We had hope of peace plans because of the talks between the Lebanese and Israel at the time. Until the founding of Hezbollah, where the whole country went downhill. A lot of Lebanese today live in Israel, who were driven out by Hezbollah, fearing for their lives, Christians, Muslims, and Druze. Since then, Lebanon had a brain drain as Hezbollah drove the Christians out, just like Europe had a brain drain after they drove their Jews out in World War II. Lebanon traded their innovators, their business builders, their professionals for bomb makers, glorified terrorists, and hate-driven monsters. Many people tell me, why don't you go back? Because Hezbollah wants my head on a platter. My only crime is that I want peace with Israel. Many Lebanese of all faith do not want war with Israel. We want peace. We want prosperity. We want to raise our children together, to grow up and love and accomplish and build and turn the Middle East into paradise. Lebanese leaders, I am calling on you now. Now is the time to seize the opportunity and make peace with Israel. Take back your country. I am calling on all Lebanese leaders and influencers across the world to come together. Let's do it. If Jordan, Egypt, UAE, and many others in the Middle East can have peace with Israel, why can't Lebanon? Now, is the time let's make history together and bring peace to lebanon i i really hope that we very soon see the day where all of the people that live in gaza all of the people that are living in lebanon and all the people that are living in iran are are in an environment where they have complete freedom and the ability to live a good and prosperous life 
I, I'm looking forward to the very, very, very near future where Israel has peace agreements and there's widespread peace across the Middle East with countries working together for a common cause and and there's no war, no animosity, no hatred. May it all may it come very, very soon. Have a great day, everybody.